afternoon, beautiful people. Standard Monday. Uh, not really standard. I saw the saddle. Um, someone's getting a really happy saddle. It's called Infinity. Uh, if it works, it works really well. If it doesn't work, it's kind of. I spent my whole morning build up this beast. Spoiler alert. Wheel. It's a little bit heavy. Um, put the cages on. Bike uh, computer mount on with pedals. Weight about nine kilos. It's not even eight. Nine kilos. But it's supposed to be a really comfortable bike and uh, good for daily. Well, people say train heavy and race on light. So should be good. All right, the first impression of 2014 Linsky Sporty disc and DI2 specific. It's definitely not as stiff as my Cervelo S3 disc. It's a little bit springy, which would be a good thing because it is an endurance bike. I put all the NV stuff on it, NV fork, 100 bar stem, so the front end is quite stiff along with the uh, tapered one and a half inch steer and uh, zip wheels but in general very uh, very comfortable i just rode past some rough road no back shots no worries so i'm on the way to footscray this time i have cash for all the food i couldn't eat for the past week i can this time ah! so i have been riding the, my e-type bikes for uh, the, uh, the whole weekend, um, three days in a row, and now jumping on Shimano Di2. This one I built up 9170 hydraulic disc brakes. Um, yeah, the shifting speed um, is pretty, pretty obvious. Hello. The shifting speed on Shimano is noticeable quicker. Well. I think this, the E-Type is quick enough for me, but I'm just, I'm just saying, compared to the two, Shimano is quicker. Matt Louis, 73 year old, he is a legend. Do you like the bike? Oh yeah, I like it. <laughs> Very right. Very good. Thank you. This is for me. <laughs> I stuffed it up big time. I knew it, I should um, get a shot before it's ruined. He used to say, Fuss, great. So I want to focus on, hello. So I want to focus on the frame, not the components, because, you know, different components, they can really change the character of the bike quite a quite a bit just talk about the frame i'm very happy about it but today what i just said is only a first impression eventually i'll put a review together eventually to so decide to uh, take a little bit detour just to test the bike a little bit more all right number one because i bought the groups at second hand so whoever owned it before set up the right hand shifter which control controls the rear derailleur the opposite way to factory setting so i'm not used to that when i get home i'm gonna hook it up to shimano e2 project to reset it here was <laughs> number two well i'm about to set it number two oh, here was is um i put a 1132 rear cassette at the back Hello. So that probably just saved me for the hills just before. But on the flat, I'm not quite used to it. Not as smooth as 1128, but for hills, definitely. Number three, what's, what is number three? Number three is, um, because this is the latest Shimano Duras Di2. So it, from factory, it doesn't allow you to do small and small cross meaning when you're on the small chain ring at the front you're not you're not going to be able to shift 
all the way to the smallest cog. I'm pretty sure it, it starts at the third last. So yeah, prevent cross chain. And right now I have the uh, Shimano, the older style, Shimano STR 785 shifters. They work fine. Hydraulic disc brakes, pretty powerful. Um, compatible with 11 speed, Juris, um, Altegra, no problem. Um, the only thing is, if I down the track, I wanted to put uh, two sprinter shifters or climb shifters. I have to upgrade them because there is only one socket that connect to the uh, to the to junction box. But for now, all well and good. But I kind of miss Shimano because when I hold the camera with one hand, I use my right hand to hold the shifters. Going up down hills, shrimp E type, you can't. You can only gear up. You can't go to an easy gear. That's the downside. Shimano, no problem. I kind of miss it. Home sweet home.